And this morning, we're working to learn more information about what led to a fiery crash involving two semis that killed two people and shut down a stretch of I-43 in Ozaki County for hours. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo live this morning near the scene with what we know on this Friday. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Tom and Adriana. We're near Sandy Beach Road in Belgium, not too far from where the crash happened. And you can see behind me, I know it's dark, but this entire road is back open again. It opened back up at about 1.30 this morning. We still don't have a lot of information as to who was driving those two semi trucks, but officials are expected to release more information a little after 8 this morning. The Ozaki County Sheriff's Office says that a semi was driving southbound and it left the roadway and hit a northbound semi truck head on, setting both trucks on fire. Officials say both drivers died at the scene. Multiple agencies responded to the crash, rerouting hundreds of vehicles trying to pass through this area. We spoke with a cashier at the BP gas station just off the exit to the highway, who said a lot of the rerouted drivers came through her store due to the crash, including some who witnessed it firsthand. One young father came in at the same time with, with his little girl, and he um, had come upon the scene right after it had happened. And uh, so he pulled over to see if he could um, try to, to help any of the drivers that were in there. But he said when he uh, approached the cab, he could tell it was already engulfed in flames, and then the tires started exploding. Again, this portion of I-43 opened back up at about 1.30 this morning, and we're expecting to learn more information about the drivers that were in the semi, as well as any information that may explain what led to that crash a little bit later after 8 a.m. this morning. Reporting live in Ozaki County, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News. All right, Elaine, thanks so much.